Hey y'all, so I just want to bring you this quick video to talk about my skincare. I get a lot of questions about it. How do I keep it soft and keep it clear? And I also want to talk about um, this oil that I'm using that has really helped me with hair growth. I was always told that like castor oil, different oils can make your eyebrows or your hair grow. Where you all may not really see a difference, but I absolutely see a difference in my eyebrows, how it has grown so much so just stay tuned we're going to talk about and go through everything that I do on my skincare I didn't really talk about toner I do do that after I wash my skin and I usually use like a Neutrogena toner that's usually what I'm using right now so just stay tuned hey all thank you so much for coming back to my channel so I wanted to bring a quick video to talk about what I constantly get questions about is my skincare routine. I have made quite a few videos on my skincare routine and usually I use pretty much the same thing, but I have added something to my collection. Now, a lot of people are into oils, oils for their hair, oils for their face and putting on oils before makeup. I will say this first of all, I do not to put oils on my face before I put makeup because I do feel that your makeup will slip. That is just my opinion. I do not need any help with oily skin. I have oily skin. I kind of am going to bring just bring you through just the first part of the video is about my skincare, my skincare routine. I always cleanse my skin with purity uh, cleanser. I keep that in my collection because I absolutely love that. Uh, lately I've been having a bit of skin issue and it's probably because I have not been trying to take care of my skin as much as I need to like washing my face if I don't because I don't wear a lot of makeup lately I just kind of wear like eyeliner and maybe pop some lashes on and maybe a little lip and I put on no foundation so a lot of times I come home I take that lip off but I'm not washing my face so because of that I do need like a deeper cleanser and that's what or a deeper not so much of a cleanser, but something, well, I guess so. Something that's really kind of going into my pores and cleaning out my pores and cleaning my face really, really good. And so that's why I will use a pumpkin mask. The pumpkin mask is amazing. It smells amazing. And you actually feel it work. That's why I absolutely love it. You feel that going into your skin. Um, and it has a little bit of a burning sensation, but it's nothing that's not tolerable. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Smell is amazing and you actually feel like eating it because it smells just so good. It smells like pumpkin. So I do cleanse my face with that. And if I need something a little additional, then I will use a clay mask. Um, I don't use that a lot, but I use it. And if I feel like I have a bump, it's like I have to irrigate it. Um, just kind of open it up a little bit. And that's when I use my derma roller. I do not use a derma roller all the time, but I will use it when I start to have like little bumps and I get them kind of around my lips sometimes and on my nose and I absolutely hate that. So to get it active and get it out of there, that is what I use is that derma roller just to really cleanse my skin and open my pores. Um, the derma roller is not the best feeling thing, but I know that it is working and that is why I choose to use it. Now at night, that is something that I really used to really be in a nighttime routine and I am getting right back into it. And I absolutely love using these oils. Um, like a huge smell, but it is a place called Cape Blanc. I will have the link below. It's for healthier hair, softer skin, and stronger nails. So you can put this on your cuticles, you can put it in your hair, and you can put it on your skin. In wintertime in Chicago, it gets very dry cold and you get very dry. I am so happy to have this. I actually do mix the rose hip seed oil. So I do four pumps of this and two pumps of this together. And I will put that on my skin, hair, and nails. I am really loving it right now because it is actually saving the day. And I just will give you a little demonstration. This, it's packaged so well, even when it comes to you, I'm just gonna put a couple drops on my hand of the jojoba oil. And then I'm gonna go in with the rose hip oil and just kind of put this, about two drops of that. I'm not gonna put it on my face because I have makeup on, but I just wanna show you just what my hands were looking like and how they look. And it's not super oily and that's what I absolutely love. There's a, it just smells like oil. I'm just, it smells like oil. So 
absolutely um, love it. Cobalt oil and this rose hip oil is amazing and I absolutely am very happy that I have it for the winter time because yes, it is very dry. So I will have everything linked down below of how you can purchase these. Um, this company, let me just look really quick because as I said, it is uh, Kate Blanc Cosmetics. It's a beauty company that is based in California. Um, and everything is 100% certified and organic. And you know how I feel about my natural organic type of things, being a breast cancer survivor, you can't beat that. I absolutely love it. So everything will be, of course, in the link. And it's just, it, it, I love it because it's so simple. It's so simple. It just, it says it's gonna help you with stronger nails, stronger hair, stronger skin, uh, moisturized skin, and boom, boom, boom. It, it is. So I just want you to go ahead and just try that out. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long and you all enjoy your day.